Hello and welcome. Uh, today I will be actually doing an update video showing you the the aquatic update, how far it's uh, been. And uh, before I was debating on whether or not to actually do an update video since uh, everybody else is kind of doing it. But I, I decided to uh, do it nonetheless. Um, this is a glitch. I, if you go into the water and go up to a certain height, you can actually see everything without seeing the water at all. Um, and actually the water vis visibility feature was just added. So, yeah, that's why that's happening. I think this also happens on PC. Um, one other thing I'd like to say with kelp. If you view it from a certain distance, you can the top of the kelp for some reason has a has a box surrounding it, and then those ones just have a. It's kind of like that, which looks weird as well. Um, but so far everything's looking good. Um, dolphins were also just added, and a couple things like the nautilus shell and heart of the sea and i'm glad that they have re-added the the name thing because before with this new ui you weren't able to get a name thing but it's here also sea pickles were added which give off a light source so if you go down here gets to a a certain um certain light level uh, if you didn't know right whenever you get in it's this light level and then as you go down it gets darker um, I think maybe if you're able to it should have it to where if you're up here it kinda looks darker down there but I think this still looks good so as you're down here you can place seagrass and I tried to go into survival and get some of this I haven't been able to so that should be um, added but um with uh, bone meal I was able to spawn some but or grow some uh, that as well. Uh, but I, if you're if you're just underwater, you can only do it on sand and gravel. You can't do it on stone. I think it should be any block that's underwater. You should be able to do it, or maybe just add stone and all the stone variants like the granite and dacite and diorite. Uh, but yeah, everything is looking good. I, I like the the kind of water specs here kind of adds a little bit more. The drowned are here. I think there's feels like there's more of them in here. Uh, again, the the transition between swimming and creative mode flying is a little bit weird. And also with this, um, you can kind of clip into blocks a little. You can see it more whenever. You're in a cave and there's like blocks um, on top of your head, and you were you're able to like look through the block and and uh, that's not something that should happen. Here we go. It's all bright. Uh, I think there was. I'm gonna get out of the water. You gotta double tap. I don't know what mood it's in. There we go have to switch between multiple modes uh, actually I think I can get a potion of night vision also blue ice looks very cold and frosty and stuff I was, I've also heard that it gives off a light level so let me just check that blue ice put that there yeah, it does give off a slight light level. 
which that's kind of cool. I haven't found sea pickles in uh, just an area. You are able to stack them and stuff, which I should show. And down under we go. You add one, that light level two, that light level three, that light level four, that light level. I definitely think you should get an F3 screen or something like that. Like, you see, like, the two two buttons up top there? They should add, like, a third one or something like that just to get, like, diagnostics and stuff because one of the main reasons was just to see what biome it is because you can't really tell. And uh, another reason, which has been a reason for... Uh, that's not really needed anymore, but with the coordinates, but now you can just see the, the coordinates in the top left always if you enable them. So that's good. They also added sea caves. Ravines were already a thing. I think there might be some sea caves over here. Yep. Here we go. And if you have... There's, there's going to be a lot of uh, places where the gravel is kind of like that. But I'll show you what I mean where you can like kind of see through the, um, the world, sort of. Oh, there we go. Yeah, if you, if you go up to a thing. Oh, I just started digging. Didn't mean to do that, but... If I go forward, why am I just stuck here? What in the world? Oh, it's because I'm crouching. <laughs> Couldn't even tell. See, that's a little, uh, little buggy. I can't go down there. Oh well. But you can, you can see that if you go up. And I think you have to be like a little bit more down and then go for it. But at some points you can like see through blocks and things like that. And it's very uh, not fully fleshed out yet. But uh, everything is been has been um, doing really well. Dolphins have been added and... That was like the the first thing that I saw, just kind of a dolphin swimming. Is that a dolphin? Yeah, it is. Yep, I really like their the jumping out of the water animation that they do. Here we go. Good. Oh, there we go. Really like that. They don't do anything. And with these new items, the, the Nautilus shell. Hmm. That, uh... Maybe that, that would be like something you find underwater or maybe it's with some some uh, chest and stuff like that. I don't know what it could be used for, but whenever I saw the heart of the sea, I just imagined like a kraken. So I really hope they add like like a, uh, a deep sea boss or something like that. That would be uh, really cool. Like it would be kind of like the wither where you get the... Um, the nether, or the, oh, what's it called? Why can I not think of it? The nether star? No, that's not. Oh, where is it? The nether star, yeah. Uh, it, I think it'd be kind of something like that. But it's like some type of, uh, like kraken or something like that. That'd be really cool to have. Um, yeah, I was gonna grab some Potion of Night Vision. Uh, where would that be? Oh, yeah, be in here. Have they added any? Uh, now I can actually read these, so. Before I just had to guess which one, but I'm gonna go through them all, see if any new potions. Because isn't there. On PC, there's a potion of slow falling or something like that? So yeah, that that might be uh, 
cool to have. Uh, I'm gonna put that there. Um, with that, with with the, I'm glad that they re-added the, the naming thing. But I wish it wasn't over the, over the hot bar where I'm supposed to put them. But I should be able to see underwater more clear with this. Oh yeah. So that's kind of the same thing as doing. Uh, let me try and do it. Can't do it again. I <laughs> I did it perfectly the first time. But uh, does it affect the visibility down here? I'm I'm actually glad that they they made the visibility thing because I couldn't see anything before. Uh, was that glitch? No, it wasn't. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like the the potion of night. Wait. Ah, it doesn't get darker anymore. Like, whenever you go to a certain depth, everything gets darker. It doesn't do that anymore. Or my... Oh, I did it. And I can kind of view things like that. Let me try and... I haven't seen the sea pickle. Just kind of out in the world. Um, but, uh, I think they, they should spawn and it would make sense if it was with the coral reef. But one, one thing with the, uh, with the coral and all that, I like how they add in the, the variation of dead coral. Oh, the beach here. I like how it's just like that, but one, one thing that... Uh, that many people may not like is how with the with the corals uh, where are they and with and if you place them like just on the surface like this they're touching water but they'll die unless they change it nope that's actually a different texture like a different kind of thing. I guess they look more like broken up now. But um, people have suggested before have like a wall of um, of kind of coral in their house to make it look more pretty. Well, they can't do that unless they have no air. See. Uh, so coral dies uh, if it's if it's just touch touching air, which may not be that good. I can definitely see a little water variance, like in the color, which kind of looks better uh, because before it's just like kind of one color and one animation going over and over and over again, and. <laughs> Whenever, whenever I'm going around, I'm like, oh man, it's so much ocean. Then it's like, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, there's a uh, land here as well, isn't there? And I kind of forget about that, and the aquatic update kind of pushes land aside. Um, and one one suggestion that I do have for finding buried treasure would be to load in the chunks really fast because you uh, whenever you do that you can only see entities and you can see the chest which is what I did with trying to find my pot of gold but yeah I have all that Let's see what else is there that's new um one thing with the with the fan coral before uh, I like how whenever you click on a an open thing, it's like sea plants. Ooh, they have... Huh. That's cool and interesting. I'll test that out. Um, so they have 
like the kind of miniature coral uh, dead variants as well. I never actually kind of thought about that, that they kind of need that. So if I just kind of place this here, can't even place it out here. So then how would it, oh, I guess before they didn't really have a dead variant because it's like always in the water because you can only place it in the water. You can't place it. Huh. I can't place the, the fire coral. Oh, there, there we go. Oh, because it's, it would be, yeah. So it needs water above it. But with the fan coral, if you just click it on the ground like that, it has a different variation from the wall or whenever you're placing it on top of a block, which I was I was thinking, why not have just one coral block to have for this variant and that variant? But I'm glad they did that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, so they do have the, the dead variants. And never thought about actually kind of isolating the water or uh, bleaching the coral, uh, the the miniature corals. Let me get a uh, an empty bucket. Uh, one problem that I do have. With this, I just, what? Whenever if you just click like that, it just immediately removes it. It's not emptying the water for some reason. But it's raining. It's been raining a lot. Need to clear the weather. I wish they added more hotkeys for those things as well. Um, what's this? Oh. Um, have they? Now I can actually look at all the enchantments as well. So I guess I should check that out. Channeling, Loyalty, Riptide. I really like the, um, I think it's Riptide, where it pulls you along. Loyalty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Impaling. Yep, they have all these. Um. Yeah. That's all that. Uh, they do have the the new stairs and slabs as well. Um, one thing with the the water and the slabs and stuff like that, it doesn't. So I can I can like place a slab here and stuff, and it works fine. But like if it's running water. It doesn't do it. It's only if it's flowing water. So, um, you can't have any slabs that have flowing water in them. Um, same with anything, which doesn't seem right. Oh, now you can actually do that. So before you weren't able to actually just use the water bucket. See, they should have flowing water for this, but they don't. But before, you couldn't just place water on it. You had to, you had to make the water source there and then put the slab there. You couldn't just have the slab there and then do it. But I think they should add it to where flowing water does it as well. Because with the fence posts, 
I think they're planning on having the water flow through the fence posts. And so I don't think, yeah, see, it just stops it. But if you put, whoa, yeah, see, if you put water, then it, it does it. It's the waterlogged. So if it's waterlogged, it's a full water block. They, that's how they have it working, but they should have it to where it's also flowing water. Yep. But at least they have it. Yep. Um, water's looking pretty fine. Let's speed along, see if we can find any coral, and preferably one that I haven't visited before, because hopefully the sea pickles spawn in and stuff like that. Oh, also, I haven't actually tested out sea turtles that much. Um, also with the mob eggs, uh, they, before they had it, to where it was the multiple little eggs, but now it's just that. The one. Spawn dolphin. Um, let me try and find a sea turtle. Also, you can now spawn just a zombie villager. If you wanted to just do that. Looking through all of these spawn drowned. Was that? Hmm. Don't remember where anything is. Don't know what colors or what. That's an Enderman. Going through all these llama parrot. Can wait. Oh yeah, turtles aren't added, are they? <laughs> Just realizing this. Don't worry about me. Uh, I did want to try and sponge. Sponge is how I'm thinking it. you get the dead variants of those objects. But how do you get sponge? Uh, here it is. So with the dead coral fan stuff. Oh, I just replaced the sponge, but luckily it's right here. I just replaced my night vision. Uh, don't, 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 don't. So do that and then sponge. See, they just break. Anytime that happens, and also there's a there's a visual glitch, a lot of visual glitches in these updates. One big problem that I have actually right now is with redstone contraptions. If I fire too many pistons or too much redstone stuff happens at the same time, then my game crashes, which didn't used to happen before. So I can't actually activate any of my redstone creations, which isn't good. But, um, yeah, hopefully they fix that because I'm not able to do redstone right now in the Bedrock Edition. Unless I try it on my computer, which I do have Bedrock Edition on there, as well as the Java Edition, if uh, I so please. Um, but yeah, that's, um, also in the commands, you can do slash locate sunken ship. Nope, not that. You can locate a sunken ship and bury treasure, I think. Yeah. But you, you just, you find a map for buried treasure on, um, um, in the, the, the place, the sunken ship, so, yeah, that's not, 
don't really need that. Wonder if anybody would actually find just buried treasure without using dolphins. Yeah, how are you gonna? I don't know how you're gonna do that, but without using dolphins or maps and just like, oh hey, treasure map, cool. Cause or buried treasure. Oh, that's kind of like uh, blockheads, how you kind of find stuff like that. But I'm on land. I'm a beached whale. Gotta go back. Also, I am wondering, whenever the aquatic update comes out, I'm thinking about actually maybe doing a survival series. I've never actually done one before, and I think I'll do it on my PC since, uh... The reason why I haven't done any survival before was because I just thought, hey, there's creative and it's just redstone resources and stuff. But uh, I think maybe, ooh, it would be a nice challenge. And what in the world? That looks weird. What is that? Is that just water or whatever? Huh. Anyway, I spotted some buried treasure here. Ah, hot, wait. So that means there wouldn't be a kraken or anything if you... Because you wouldn't just find a nether star in here. Um. So if you just find heart of the sea, then it's not really that interesting. But... Water, I'm trying to fly upwards. Can I please fly upwards? I think I'm in swim mode or crouch mode. I don't know. There's three modes now. Um, or more, actually. Um, I haven't actually found the blue ice anywhere normally, which is a shame. But I'm just going to fly around. Hopefully I find some coral reefs somewhere. It's normally around places with sand. Which would be the warmer ocean. There's too much land here. Off and away I go. This is just more land. Uh, I need to get away from land. I'm also testing in the, the loading capabilities. Ah, uh, here's some sand. Hopefully I find some coral reefs nearby. But I don't think it's deep enough. I do think that the uh, aquatic update is going pretty well. Why is it so dark? Oh yeah, I guess it just does just warm up and then go. Um, I have seen a um a slight difference from the the sandy part to the. Oh, actually, I'm I'm at one of those places. I found a different, diff, uh, differentiate, um, I can't say it. I have found a different uh, difference in color whenever going from one biome to the other. I'm going to actually stay with sand. There's another uh, ravine. Hopefully they do add the, the bubbles because uh, that's the one I'm looking for, bubbles. Everybody's probably looking for the bubbles. Uh, it's, it's already in the Java edition. Fly ahead. Fly ahead, please. Ooh, please. Can't speak either. So I'm going to go head off. It was kind of easy to find coral reefs the, the first time I was looking through here. Oh. 
My night vision wore off. The last time I found it, without night vision, actually, was uh, because I saw like a weird structure underground. Actually, I haven't found uh, an underground structure yet. Like a, an abandoned, abandoned uh, underwater village. Right as I say it, I find one. <laughs> wow. And just one. So, nothing too big. But, this is my first one, first time seeing this. So, hopefully I can maneuver this place. Uh... If I get no chest, then I won't be happy. Ooh. There's a chest. Man, I love that loot. <laughs> so you have to kind of go searching for it, which makes sense. It's, it's ruined. It's not supposed to be in the best shape. But right as I said that I haven't found an underground structure, underwater structure yet, I find one. I guess, hmm, it would be interesting if they had actual underground structures as well. Maybe even sky structures. Because with the um, Elytra, they've with um, it's added more sky maneuverability. So it would be awesome to kind of have like islands. Like sky islands. That'd be really cool to see. Let me go off in any direction. I believe there's a mine shaft under here. Yep. Because I saw mine cart chest. But yeah, I really want my redstone to work again. I haven't... I look like cobwebs for a second. I haven't really tested it with the dolphin update. But... I don't think it's been fixed. I will check at the very end. As soon as I find my coral reef, once I find my coral reef, I'll be fine. <laughs> kind of looks like a hat because it's a different color and stuff. Actually, that mine shaft is right next to a ravine, so that's a little weird um I wonder if they'll be able to work around that make everything in here waterlogged because I know am I not able to see mine carts whenever I'm in water I am not huh could you fly so as you can see no mine carts and then mine carts that could be useful for some kind of game or something say so, oh it's a mine shaft but there's no mine carts anywhere and then there's mine carts way over there <laughs> um yeah hopefully these are all things that can be fixed make everything waterlogged in a mine shaft that's next to a ravine um let me just fly all the way up I think that's a cave there but that's not what I'm looking for I am looking for a mine uh, coral don't even know what I'm looking for there's another mine shaft there This is a little bit laggy, but as long as it doesn't crash, I'm fine with that. But yeah, this video is just me looking around at all the cool new stuff because, hey, everybody else is looking at it. Uh, also, water that is under in like a cave or something kind of looks weird. Whenever you look through the world, which I guess you shouldn't be able to do in the first place, so. That's fine. No. It's land. Don't want land. 
One thing I might try and do, is this all still gravel? It is. Um.